Alright, so without wasting any more of your time, let's start with how to cheese all of the bosses on Sekiro. We start with the Demon of Hatred. First thing, you need to jump on this. If you didn't, it's okay. Just relax. Just try to sprint on it and just jump. When you got there, just jump again. Just... um. And you have to jump all the way up to that wall. To that, you just have to climb this building to the right. And you just have to just sit there and wait for the boss until the file fall to his own demise. What a sad little story, boy. And you get your trophy, Demon of Hatred. Now the second boss is the true corrupted monk. This is not the shadows, this is the real deal here on the something palace, I don't know, compartmental palace or something like that. It's some kind of a palace, Japanese palace. Now in this footage, I fail actually, but there's a reason why I left it. Because this is probably the toughest one to copy. So I just wanted to let you know that it's okay to fail, you know. I failed a lot try, trying up to do this. And if you wanted to do it legit, I understand. But uh, because, because you're gonna fail a lot doing this glitch. Now the secret is the glitch is just you need to hug the tree to the right. You just need to jump at the same time as he is attacking. You just have to get the timing right and, and that's just about it. You can stuck the boss, now be careful. He can still hit you, his attacks hit really hard so that's something to consider, that's something to put in your mind. Just have to keep on your distance every now and then, just keep jumping back, be careful. Never, never be a little bit too careful against uh, secret bosses because they are unpredictable and they could surprise you. Now after we got his um, health bar to the lowest we just, we just need to hug the tree to the left. Just try to to hug the tree to the left and while basically attacking him. After that just keep on attacking and at the same time uh, just try to be as closest to the tree in the left corner. You've done that correctly, the trophy should pop up and the and you already got the boss fight. Now this uh now the next one is Emma the gentle blade. Now one thing I would say her blade was not gentle. Her blade hurts a lot. <laughs> now, without it, well, without any joking, you don't want to be grabbed by her because her hurt boxes with like the grabs is is ridiculous. If you want to take my advice, just just take some aqua sugar, select the axe, and go to town on her. Just. Just don't let her breathe, man. Just uh, go to town. When I say go to town, just spam the axe on her. Just, yeah, like, don't even, like, don't even give her a chance, man. I mean, look at this. At the second, like, I decided to save, uh, like, uh, some kind of, like, uh, emblem. Just decided just to, to do this legit. She's just like, oh, no. Uh, like I'm taking you down and that was like such a savage ending man I don't know 
I really liked Emma and just seeing her go this way just really sending the bad ending vibes right there but we have we have to do it for the trophies boys so um, this is uh, Ashin Ashina the old man form do not get grabbed like me always keep your distance because he can he can uh, he can grab you and it hurts so the thing is you just wanna dodge his attack yeah that's about it if you got the chance to use the axe use the axe if you run out of emblem then switch to mortal blade now he is no pushover boss his combos are pretty less so that is something to consider um yeah like i said he's no pushover just take your time relax just wait for like an opening at the end of the day you're gonna win against him but are you patient enough to learn his combos that is the real questions like I said don't get don't get close to him keep your distance Find the right moment to attack. Um, be careful against him. And actually the mortal blade might actually work better against him than, than using the axe. I don't know. I mean like this, like the only way, like the only reason why I went all out against him because I used a rice. A rice is a precious and delicious medicine. So you pretty much have infinite health for like 10 seconds. So that's why I was taking so much damage and I didn't care. Now the next boss is the owl. Owl or owl. Owl is secure father. This is on the Hirata states. I forgot to record the first one and I'm not doing it again. Screw that, man. Um, you just need to just go ham on him. Just try to glitch his AI into this corner. Now, I took a lot of damage, but it's alright because it's worth it. Just have to use the axe and uh, just have to use Flang and Blade. And just double attack then after that use on the attacks and he should max out his stands after that we got his first form out of the way now his second form is pretty interesting to say the least you just have to keep on running around him like in circles Make sure his attacks don't hit you, dodge them, jump, jump on them, just do whatever, just make sure that they don't hit you. If he disappear, just run at the opposite direction, like at the direction that he came from. Uh, wait for the chicken chicken sword attack, that is a good opening to, uh, to strike attack to unite so yeah so after that just wait it's all about the waiting game against him just take all your time oh man I'm, I'm really tired anyway just have to you know and that was his father now to the final and the toughest boss fight in the entire game. Ginichiro, Way of the Tomo. What a final boss, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But imagine if that was true. Now, 
there is no real way to cheese Ginichiro. Just have to get good, man. Just have to learn his combos. Just have to be aggressive against him. Just have to dodge. You have to reflect. You have to jump on his head like this. And that's the way of the Tomo to Nichiro. Now, um, Ishin, the sword sent the first form. The only way that I could find is just charge attack, dodge, um, attack. Then, yeah, if he attack you, just Mikiri counter him. And, yeah. Just try to be aggressive. Second form, I'm not really a fan. The only way that I could find is waiting for the, his jump attack. Be careful of his jump attack because if his jump attack hits you, that's almost like 50% of your, or like this, 50% of your health are just gone. So yeah, you just have to wait for that attack. Dodge it at the perfect moment. Just go right under him. Use the mortal blade, get some damage, run out of there, just go, go out there and run, just don't, don't give him a chance to hit you, always run away, and yeah, have to do that, that is his second form, his third form is a little bit, um, worse, I would say. It does more damage and he used lighting attacks against you. But but we I didn't really change my strategy here. I just baited the jump attack, then went went ham, went to town with the mortal with the mortal blade. And that's how I did it. Now to be perfectly a reasonable here you're gonna fail a lot against these bosses and that's just part of the process it is like a final boss and it should be difficult i think and there is no real way to cheese the last one but if you used my strategy just um you know just be aggressive you got this. And seriously, relax, man. You got this. That's all what I wanted to say. Thank you for watching.